Camille. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 165 centimeters tall. You can see the tail of the tape, 28 years of age is Alexei Indenko. They're rich, 32. But they can see the height discrepancy, the advantage to Indenko. They're rich, 165 centimeters tall, which is perfectly fine for someone who's weighing in at 61 kilograms. Introducing Dennis, the Bosnian man, Puri. They represent in Canada, and of course, Kunlun fight, Denis Puric. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent fighting out of the red corner of the cage. Бойцу 28 лет, его рост 180 сантиметров, вес 61,4 килограмма. He's 28 years old, he's 180 centimeters tall, his official weight 61,4 kilograms. Professional record, two bouts, two wins and no losses. Multiple winner of hand-to-hand -hand fighting championships, kudo championships and kickboxing championships. Representing Russia. Его профессиональный рекорд – два боя, две победы. Неоднократный победитель турниров по рукопашному бою, кудо и кикбоксингу. Из России встречайте Алексей Инденко! И Инденко, looking ready to go. Пойдем на середину. You can see when they come together straight away the high advantage that Indenko possesses. We have three five minute rounds of MMA. Let's get it started. Alright, here we go, folks. First bout of 11 bouts this evening here in Khabarovsk in Russia. Denis Purich from Canada in the blue corner and Alexei Indenko First in the red corner. Round yeah, one, here we go. Great sky cam there. This is actually an ice hockey arena. Outside right, fight kick there from the menace. Just as I thought, just as I suspected. More of a kickboxing bout between these two fighters who like to strike. And he's taken to the center of the ring. And Denko trying to hunt him down. Oblique kick attempt. No, no, overhand right, connected from Indenko. Good inside fight kick though from Puric. Definitely caught him though. He did Indenko, but he didn't move in. Being very relaxed. Again, Puric going for those legs, trying to chop down that big old Russian tree. And again, and he connects. Indenko doesn't look like he's wanting to block, wanting to uh, check those kicks. Oh, there you go, there you can see. Purich just wants to kickbox. That's where he's most comfortable. Actually from Bosnia, that's why his nickname's the Bosnian Menace. But then moved to Canada, and then a uh, Kunlun fight gave him a great opportunity to go and train and live in uh, China. And that's where he resides now and fights for Kunlun fight as opposed to Indenko, who fights for modern fighting Pancratia. And it's Puric standing in the center of that cage. Again, target in the leg. Good sprawl there from Puric. Denko was looking for the takedown. Perhaps those leg kicks are actually doing damage. Something in kickboxing, of course, that is an advantage is taking away those leg kicks. It pretty much screws your whole game plan. But in MMA, of course, you've got a chance to take your opponent down and then work him from the ground. So the more pure Richard targets those legs. Oh, another left hand.
Juric again, just stalking his prey. Check that time, that leg kick. Superman punch connects there from Purik, looking very comfortable. And Denko still in first gear. Another swinging left hand from Purik, but misses that time. Runs in with a left body shot. Nice swinging, really going for that left hook. Head hunting. Looks very composed, looks very confident in there. Purik's already in third gear, Sterenko. Sorry, Indenko just struggling right now. A little faint there from Indenko, but he didn't follow up. Again, another overhand right from Purik. Not a full power. Oh, that was though. Nice left hook and acknowledge from the Russian. Nice left body kick there from the Canadian. Oh, take down. And he's got it in Denko. Look at oh, but he's letting him stand back up. Now you can see. Just now I was talking about Purik's prowess in kickboxing. You can see that in Denko is more comfortable on the feet as well. Spinning back at it. Oh, as was Purik. Like for like that time. And just like for like, neither of them connected. Oh, another left hand there from Purik. That time connected proper. Not only did he nod his head, he also clapped it in Denko. Nice spinning back attempt there from in Denko. Purik is able to move forward and attack the Russian at will. There's that left hand again. Deep breath from Indenko. Good round for Purik. Stuff to take down. Landed some beautiful left hooks as we enter the last 30 seconds of round one. Attempted jumping knee there from the Russian. But Purik is quick. We got caught with an uppercut. Didn't really bother Purik. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Another left hand there from Purik. Good solid round of, I'm saying, kickboxing action over MMA here. The end of the first round. And, uh, the joint promotion. Modern fighting prankation and Kung Lun fight. Kung Lun fight, the premier kickboxing organization in uh, Asia. Some of the biggest names in the world, not only of Asia, compete in Kunlun fight. Purik being one of them. You can see the takedown off balancing his opponent rather than a takedown from Purik. It's those left hooks that were doing all the damage from the uh, the man they call the menace. You can see why. There's that only takedown, but as soon as he got into the floor, he's let him stamp straight back up. I was a little surprised by that. And there's that left hook. And there's the nod of approval from the Russian fighter. Action packed. First round to start off tonight's proceedings. I guess approves the winner. Ice Hockey Arena. Floor's freezing cold, but the action's piping hot. Fight. Round number two. The second round. Dorora. Be interesting to see what the corner of Indenko were telling their uh, fighter because he's got to do something about that left hook. Nice right hand there from Indenko. Moving in and out instead of just staying there or just moving backwards and allowing Purik to attack him. Purik going back to his bread and butter, those leg kicks they're doing. A, He's doing a great job of attacking those legs in the first round and the body. Even though Indenko possesses that height advantage, we haven't really seen anything of it so far. I haven't really turned it off. That was a big swing there from Fury. Saw that from a mile off. Fury going back to those body kicks. I'm sure we can reach high. Oh! But they always say, don't you, when they get hit, 
and they shake the head like that, they did actually hurt. You just don't want your opponent to know it. So, good scoring from Curry. Cannot find Curry with those kicks. Oh! Sanchai style handstand kick attempt there from Purik, but misses as well. See, Purik is clocking that left hand. Really wants to spring in with that left hook, and why not? This time with the right. The outside fight kick from. But a good combination, one, two, three, coming in from Indenko. Right hand to the body that time from the menace. Denko really struggling with the rain. He's only so tall, it's really surprising. He can't find Fury at all with those kicks. Not doing a bad job with the hands, but it's those kicks that are causing the trouble. And he's going for a single leg. Fury trying to stay on his feet. Got a hold of the cage. Good takedown from Denko, but Fury back up to his feet straight away. Denko happy to do that score with the takedowns, but not actually do anything off, off the ground. Purik again going back with those left and right hooks. It's the first time we've seen Purik looking tired. Perhaps Denko realizes that and he's moving in. Perhaps they're both tired. There's that Purik bomb again, and misses again. In the first round, it was Purik who stood, stood in the center of the cage and was chasing the Russian the role reversal in the second round. Two minutes to go. Punch it there from Indenko. And Purik breathing heavily. Little left jab there. And Purik is really running in with those right hands. Perhaps a sign of desperation. That might be due to his fatigue. They saw call for an elbow. All legal in MMA, of course. Oh, solid right uppercut there from the Russian. More urgency now with a minute to go from Purich. With a good right hand from the Russian. Done so much better in this second round, it has to be said. In my opinion, has tied the fight up. And in there, oh, nice, very slick. And he's going to keep him on the ground, he's inside control. He's got the neck. Purich able to get out and stop. Back on his feet again. 30 seconds left. With a millisecond there, we saw a tie plum from Purik. Hands around the neck, but nothing really doing with those knees. Much better performance in the second round from the Russian, the hometown hero, the undefeated Indenko. Oh, jumping the attempt, but another takedown for Indenko. Little ground and pound as well to finish the round. Much more productive. Well, if, in, if Purik was having it all his own way in the first, Indenko had it all his own way in the second. Which means it's going to come down, in my opinion. Whoever wins this third and final round will win the fight. See highlights of that second round. Indenko was moving in and out very nicely. Purik did connect a couple of times, but didn't really rock Indenko like it did in the first round. And then after that, it was all the in-out movement of Indenko. And was able to score a couple of takedowns also. Actually three with the, uh, the one that ended the round. Yorick, 
very much a grafter in MMA, in kickboxing as well. Sort of thighed him in the head there. And that's where Indenko got that third takedown. So, boys and girls, it's going to come down to this third and final round. Alexei Indenko in the red corner. Dennis Burek in the blue corner. Crowd appreciate the efforts of these two warriors. So let's see what happens. Third and final round. First bout here at joint promotion NPF and KLF. The third, final round. Three round. Modern fighting pancreation joint venture with Kunlun Fight. A pancreation fighter, Alexei Indenko against the Kunlun Fight fighter, Dennis Purik. Bit of a stalemate so far, understandably so as well. I'm sure both corners have said to him that you, you won round up, so don't lose the fight. And that can have like an adverse effect to the action. Oh, nice left body shot. Caught him swift. And I think it was a sort of slip as well from uh, Purik off balancing, but it was all down to the, the power of that left kick to the body from Indenko. Probably up on the scorecards right now, and I'm sure Purik is aware of that. Uh, Indenko that time going Purik on him, going a left hand. Body kick, sorry, right leg kick there from Purik. Stop throwing those leg kicks. He was doing a great job of throwing and attacking the legs of in Denko in the first round. But after that, he hasn't thrown much at all. And you can see Purik desperately trying to stop the takedown, and he's done so. And Denko has a leg, able to take Purik down. Oh, is he going to get him into full mount? Purik scrambling, trying to get himself up. And Denko in a good position here to do some ground and pound. Purik got himself into full guard. Let's see what Indenko can do from here. Good elbows though from Purik, fighting back. So Purik really wants to be out of this position. Trying to use those legs to kick up. Good left hands from Indenko. That's what happens when you've got a nice long reach. Purik desperately trying to fight back. With the right hand there from Indenko going to the body that time. Crowd applauding, appreciating it. Indenko trying to does move the legs out of the way. Purik's trying to get back to that cage. You're trying to use it as leverage, I'm sure, to stand back up. All hustle from Indenko. Good elbows though from the top. Position from Purik. Indenko this time is driving him from the cage back to the center. And with his size advantage, with his height advantage, very difficult for Purik to get up from here. Again, connects with a solid right hand. Minuto de Gansa Poizinka, only one minute left in this fight. Oh, you heard. One minute to go. Push it, push it, push it. Really in a world of problems now. 
even though he's fighting back on the scorecards, this scorecards, this isn't look, gonna look good. It's been all in Denko really after that takedown. Purich has just been unable to get to his feet or get into any sort of position where he can tap in Denko. Final seconds of this third of the final round. Russia versus Canada. It's like Indengo's happy to stay where he is right now. I thought he might have switched to side control, but doesn't see any point if you win the fight. We're gonna to go to the judges, but in my opinion, it looks like it should be a clear win for Alexei Indenko. Derek's not very happy with his performance, you can see there. Дамы и господа, награждение проводят руководитель компании Венкомплект Федор Сушков, а также начальник управления по физической культуре и спорту города Хабаровска Александр Леонов. But we will go to the judges. There's the beautiful Ringos. Can stand there all night if they want. After talking about the high advantage in the first round when Purich was winning the fight. And Denko finally made it pay off when he took him to the ground. And it's some good, productive ground and pound. Effective from a scorecard standpoint, anyway. But we'll, uh, we will get the final verdict right now. Дамы и господа, победу единогласным решением судей. And the winner by unanimous decision.